lecture i'm going to discuss what how to concatenate two files or more than two files using powershell so let's open the powershell powershell 7 so by default this is the location now i'm going to move inside file location so let's use your cd command and paste that after that the next is let's see here so this is the file now and uh, thereafter here you can see this is the file one content this is the file one content and this is here file two content so 60 80 90 so this two is the csv tab it can be different you can use text file also so this two file that I'm going to concatenate. So for this one, let's write here gate minus thin content and uh, here giving the file one and type is now CSV. Then after separate with the comma, second file names you need to give, giving here file three dot csv and setting this on the new file so writing a set content and giving the new file name xyz and here txt so two files that merge and after that create new file xyz and all the contents of this file 2, file 1 and file 3 that's come inside xyz. So here you can see there is no any xyz file is there. When I press enter. So here set content. Okay, I did the mistake. We need to give the minus. Now press enter. Here you can see one file that's created xyz. And this has the data of this is the file one content and this is here 608090 file three content the new file that's created with the name of xyz and the data of file one and file three that is stored into there so tools are csv and here that is stored into text now the next is like that if you want then you can concatenate all those CSV files. Okay. So here you need to give a star. So a star that means all the files related with the CSV that concatenate and a store into. So I'm going to give new file name. Let's give here a uh, new. EMPL. So, new file that create and all the CSV data that is stored into EMPL text. So, here when I just press enter, new file that's created, EMPL, and here you can see this is the file one content, and here all the files that combined, and after that, this is loading the data. So here, the all file of the CSV kind that concatenated. Here you can see all the files. Like that, if you want to concatenate txt, then you need to give your txt. And here, let's give this place CSV. So EMPL with EMPL one text file created and here one CSV. So here you can see all the text file contents. All text file are there that combined and uh, there that is stored into EMPL.csv. Here you can see there is one text document ABC with name and uh, here. And another is now XYZ, this all text file there. 
So this is the most uh, simplest way we can combine. To combine two files, you need to give here or get content, then file one, file two, file three. And if you want, then you can give here. If you want to combine three files, then you can give here three file name and with comma separated. And when I store the data, so you can store with the help of set content and give the file name. So here that file can be empty and if you don't give then that create the new files so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you